I know, I'll probably get canceled for the 50th time for this, but it's just so absurd. I had to say something. Liz Cambage, WNBA star for the Las Vegas Aces, trending on Twitter yesterday. Everybody throwing her a big parade because uh, she fired back at Kurt Miller, head coach of the Connecticut Sun. Only problem is Liz Cambage's reaction was totally ridiculous and Oh yeah, also blatantly racist, as you can see here. Uh, coach criticized the opposing player's weight, not actually what he really said. She posted, I'm very proud to be a big bitch. He's only suspended one game. He should be fired and not allowed to coach woman. <laughs> oh my god, unbelievable. These people are nut jobs. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine. Apparently what got Cambage so up in arms was Miller saying something to an official about her being uh, 300 pounds, but... The comment was not directed at her, and there's a big difference between talking to a ref about calls and directly saying something to a player trying to offend them. It's a difference that people who have no understanding of how coaches try to work refs cannot grasp at all. I agree. If Miller had said something directly to Cambage calling her 300 pounds, trying to disparage her, that would be inappropriate. But in the context of arguing a call to officials... It's just not, period. I've heard male coaches use that kind of hyperbole all the time. Massive center gets a ticky-tack foul call. Come on, he's 7 feet tall. He's 300 pounds. He's beating the crap out of our guys. He doesn't need your help. Jokic and Bede probably heard similar. It's quite obvious to anyone with a brain that, sure, Miller exaggerated Cambage's weight because she is a big in the WNBA, and Miller was emphasizing that she's a big woman and obviously thought she wasn't being officiated correctly. And hey, if she took offense and hurt it and wanted to snap back at the coach during the game, clap it in post-game, whatever, fine. She could talk trash back, but to be playing this unbelievable victim card like she's the target of some grave social injustice, obscene. Especially when you consider that on her IG Live, she literally said, I will never let a man disrespect me ever, 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 especially a little white one. What the fuck? Don't ever try to disrespect me or another woman in the league, she says, while saying she'll never take anything from specifically a little white man. She also called Miller Little Sir Man, referred to his height multiple times, accused him of protected abuse. Just outrageous. You can't say that. I mean, imagine if this was, this is literally on ESPN.com. Imagine if this sentence literally said, I will never let anybody disrespect me ever, 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 especially a little black one. Like, she would be fired instantly. She would never be able to do anything ever again anywhere. And this is from somebody that I had no problem. Honestly, a lot of people took offense to Montrez Harrell calling Luka Doncic a little white boy or whatever in, in the heat of the moment in the playoffs last season. That's trash talk. I don't care. As a white guy playing in the NBA, you're going to deal with some of that. That's a little bit back and forth trash talk. But to say about a coach who was campaigning for a call to a, the refs to say that he was so disrespectful and you'll never, ever, ever let a man disrespect you, especially a little white one, how is this okay? It's not okay. And again, if you watch the film too, I mean, yes, she is probably the biggest player on the court. She's a big. He obviously wasn't saying that she's literally 300 pounds. He's saying that she's a big woman and maybe plays like this might be a foul that didn't get called. He's not body shaming her. It has nothing to do with trying to make her feel bad. He's literally trying to compete for his team and try to get the refs to call fouls on her. Which, yeah, they called a few in the game, and they also let her play some, as you can see here on this post-up. Yeah, she uses her body pretty well to score. Or how about this one, where another play certainly looked like possibly a foul, and look, he's maybe complaining to the refs here, and look, she chirps back at him. Trash talk, he of the moment. Sometimes players, coaches go back and forth. He didn't directly say to her, you fat ass, you 300 pounds, whatever. He's talking to the officials, as anybody that understands basketball knows, trying to get a foul call, trying to get his team a more favorable whistle. For her to come out and say, make it about 
him being a little white one, not okay, and somehow it's totally acceptable that everybody just says, you know, he was the one, this gay NBA head coach for six years, gets suspended a game, fined $10,000, the woke crowd thinks Liz Cambage is a victim of body shaming, misogyny, yada, 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 instead of it being a fucking basketball coach making a basketball complaint to the referees. I don't know. I think it's ridiculous. Thanks for watching. Make sure you thumb up, subscribe, scout with Brian, YouTube, Instagram, the podcast. I don't think this is okay, and I think Liz Cambage should apologize for her comments, like Kurt Miller did, honestly, about his. Thanks for watching.